morning everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a light meal for lunch and then you're going to follow along with me as I work in my out porch and that is a pantry. I have been really working since January trying to use up food that was in my long-term storage. We're going to talk a little bit about that and my thoughts and feelings on all of the different food and storing up food. But first, I'm going to show you a little tutorial about canned food. Now, we have all kinds of canned food here that we're going to be making soup with. We have one that has some rust on the edges. And I'm going to show you what I feel is what you should use and what you shouldn't use. Now, all of this food is sealed, but some of the food is a couple years old, which is fine as long as it's sealed and it looks good. Now this one here, I am not going to use, even though it's sealed and you probably could still use it, but it does have some rust along the edges. When in doubt, throw it out. I have always said that. I don't ever compromise something I feel maybe not be right. So we are not going to use this. Even though 99.9% .9 of it, it's probably okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up these jars. And I am going to be making my chicken pot pie. Now I have my homemade noodles that I dried and I have quite a few videos on that. So we are gonna use them. Basically, we're just throwing everything in the crock pot and when it gets to a boiling, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the noodles in it. So let's just open everything up and let's get started. Crock pot liners before. But I had to do a product review of it and we were gonna see how it works. I'm not excited about using liners like this, but you know, we're gonna give it a try. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you here in a moment. Make sure you wipe off your lids so they're good and clean because you just never know what dust may be on them. You listen for the pop and you listen for the button. So the button is up. And then you smell it, it smells really good and fresh. So these are the criteria to look for. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to use the corn. Oh, that smells amazing. Not sure how much corn I'm gonna to add to it. Each one of them is sealed. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put the lid on it and we're gonna heat it up until it's good and boiling hot. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the jar that had the rust around the edge, and let's just see how that is. But I'm not going to use it because I don't use any lids that have rust on them. That was sealed really well. And that is the lid on the inside looks fine. The rust didn't go through, but I'm not taking a chance. Smells good, looks good, but I'm not taking a chance because of the rust. You just never know. Now, what you can do is you can make sure you boil your food for 10 minutes and that way you make sure you're safe. Now, I'm not giving any disclaimers, so I'm being really careful how I say this, but you can take a look. If you want to research botulism, you can research it on your own. But all of the food that I used today was safe, sealed, and fresh. But when in doubt, like I always say, throw it out. All right, now we're gonna go into the pantry because I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. All right, everyone, we're in my out porch pantry. I am sorry it is a little dark in here. I'm trying to set my camera that maybe it's not quite so dark. It's not as dark in person as it is on camera, that's for sure. But I wanna show you what I've been working on. So ever since January, we've been using up the food here. And that's the food that you just seen me make in today's video. So I am cleaning out this area there actually was a shelf right here, waist high, that's totally gone now. So I think we went about maybe 80 to 90 quarts of food. And I'm gonna show you what I've been doing here. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming because 
I have a system and I'm doing really well with it, but I just gotta keep working on it every week. So let me show you. All right, so this part, what you're looking at right now is totally redone. This is all fresh food. The food has been wiped down the jars and this is all cleaned up. So I worked from this way over here. I just gotta work on top of the refrigerator yet. And now this area is totally empty. So we've been working on this. So we're working on the shelf, the whole way down to the floor. It needs a good vacuuming and it also needs a good wipe down. Then we have just this unit yet I need to work on. So as you can see, this is the door and this is the unit that we need to work on yet. So I have this I have to work on in the next about month. So it'll be about a month, a couple weeks. And what we're doing is we're just going through this food and we're going to use the food and make things with it. So most of this is jellies and things like that. That will go in a designated area. So right here we have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these shelves down and then I'll tell you why I'm doing all this. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this is this is the oldest food I have. And then we have the pantry that was a bedroom. That food is newer. So that's 2023, 2022, 2021, and maybe a couple 2020. This is basically 2020, which this isn't terribly old for 2020. So for me, I try to use the food within three years, at the longest five years. So what I'm gonna do is the wind keeps blowing my door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this down and then what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking the food from that pantry and bringing it over here. And then that way that room isn't so full and then that room I can slowly clean. Now that room every year, sometimes even twice a year, I do a thorough cleaning, which I have all the videos. I don't know how many hundreds of videos I have of that room, but out here, i be honest with you, I didn't clean it like I should. I got busy with life and everything, and so this was neglected. I think I had three jars that were unsealed, so other than that, really it's doing pretty good. What I'm doing is, what I always do is, is I start up, wipe down, and then I vacuum the floor. Now I do have a vast variety of baskets up here. So this area, I do use a lot. This is my pantry grocery store. So this isn't just, this isn't to look very pretty as far as, you know, it's not decorative. This is a functional pantry I use every day. But with that being said, we are going to talk a little bit about food. And every year there's something goes around. Every year they say, stock up, stock up. The grocery stores are empty and things like that. I have some thinking and philosophy on that. I had an eye opener just seeing how much food I really have. And as I, we worked in our home, as you all know, we worked outside, inside, we worked everywhere in our home. This is an area now I can work with and it doesn't cost me anything, but I just need to clean it and clean it really good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these shelves down and then I'm gonna start bringing some jars to put in those shelves. So th that way when this hutch is finished here, then this is all done. Everything is done here. And then all I have to do is work on this and go through the food, use up the food, and then I'll have this open that I can bring more food out over there. My whole idea is to reduce my food storage by 50%. And that's because I have a lot of food and I am not going to continue to do massive canning simply because I don't need it. But I am gonna be doing dehydrating. I'm gonna be focusing more on dehydrating this year. Okay, let's get working. All right, about two hours later, I have this totally finished. Now this was food that was in my main pantry. Now I just gotta work on this, but I can't work on this today. So I try to clean up as I go. So this is what it looks like. So I am really working on it. I'm getting, it, getting the job done. This is a 
very overwhelming. All right, before we work on the sweet potatoes, I wanna show you this. Now, I'm very particular and I would not reuse this jar. Now, this jar was unsealed and you can see that it's moldy. Be very careful when you have jars like this. You don't want to dump them outside. You don't want any kind of animals to eat this because an animal could get very sick. And you want to make sure you dispose of it properly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw band on here. And then what we do is we're going to put it in a bag. So we're going to put a bag like this with the screw band on. I have to go get that. We're going to double bag it and put it with your regular trash. You don't want to throw any food out where animals can get it if it looks like that. All right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about all of this and then we're going to sort these sweet potatoes. I have about half of them used up. We still have half of them yet. And then I'll say goodbye to all of you. It started for me two years ago when I had the opportunity to glean food that was going to be thrown away. What happened was it got to the point where I didn't want to see anything thrown away, so I would gladly take it. Well, through the years, it got to be too much food. It was just too much. I couldn't consume all of it. So now these days, I am just really being more conscious of what I take home with me. You don't want to see things wasted, but yet it gets to the point where you can't deal with everything. So these sweet potatoes, I think I paid like $3 for all of them. I forget how much, it was only a couple dollars. But I can't use so many of them. Now, I've been giving these to family and friends, and so I really don't have that many left. So what I'm doing is I'm going through them, and somebody said I could sprout the ones that aren't very nice. I think I'm probably gonna put these in the compost, but I am going through all these. I'm picking out the really good ones yet. So this is my thoughts. It's a fine line between prepping and to the point where it consumes you. And my food situation was to the point where it was, it was consuming me. It's just too much. I couldn't handle all of it. And then it became very stressful. And the older I get, the less I'm able to handle such large amounts of food. But then you have the question, well, what happens if times got bad? You need this food. That's always my theory. If times get bad, I need this food which is true, I do need the food. But that's where we rely on God. And sometimes it can just get too much. So, you know, we always are learning things and we always are working with situations. It would be like somebody who has the issue with gambling and they got the opportunity that they could gamble every day all day long <laughs> and they could do it for free well it would become consuming to them or how about the person who loves yard sailing and they could go yard sailing all day long and they could do it for free well eventually it gets to the point where you just can't do all of it all the time so while this food was very cheap or free it took up a lot of space in my head and in my home. You know, it's kind of funny. It's like when you put a new kitchen floor in and then you see that your kitchen cupboards look ugly. So then you paint them and then you see something else looking not good. You know, when we start fixing things, it's like, oh wait, this should be done too. This should be done. And having my food in an organized manner and having about a year, a year to a year and a half is fine. I don't need three years of food. Seriously, I don't. All right, I think I went through all of these, pretty much all the good ones. And this would give me enough for a couple months anyhow. Well, everyone, that's what I was working on today. And as you can tell, it's not going to be just a one video. I'm going to have different videos as I work on them. I am exhausted. I'll tell you, I am exhausted. It is a lot of work. Lifting all them jars and organizing them and putting them in their proper place. That pantry looks really good and I'm happy with it. Now the other pantry looks like a storm went through it. And that pantry I have to work on too.